So I'm here with Bay today and we are going to create the classic Hollywood starlet look and um, she has got the gorgeous face for that and I'm so glad that she's come in. And um, so it's really that kind of quintessential, you know, a little bit of shading on the eyes, a kind of perfect arch brow, a little bit of contouring and the gorgeous, you know, pillar box red glossy lips and now I'm going to show you how. So we've already prepped Bay's skin, we've used Ling MAC Lingering Pencil to give her that gorgeous arch brow. She's got beautiful foundation on her face and skin is prepped and ready to go. Now I'm going to show you how to get the kind of quintessential Hollywood starlet eye with the gorgeous pillow of red lip. So close your eyes. We're going to put a little bit of powder all over the lid so that when we put the eyeshadow on it doesn't crease or smudge or get patchy. Use a little bit of powder all over, and that kind of just primes the eye, ready for your eyeshadow. Okay, so now I'm going to curl Bay's eyelashes just to get a gorgeous lift and really open up the eye by curling the eyelashes. And now we're going to draw the classy, classic Hollywood kind of line on top of the eyes, just on top of this. So it's like a feline shape but it's just on top of the lids of the eyes. And we're going to start, look at me darling, in the corner of the eye. And we're doing it with a smoky pencil by Elizabeth Arden. I, close your eyes, like to use a pencil so I kind of, it's easier if one makes a mistake. We're just to get a kind of feeling of where the line should go and then go over it. Once you've, once you've found your definite line, then kind of go over it with a gel eyeliner. Look at me. And then just to give a cotton bud as your best friend in this situation, just to give you a little lift in the outer corner. Close. And then you can see how thick you want to go and how dramatic you want to make it. Once you've got the basis of the shape. Always keep your pencil really sharpened so you can get a nice point. Open. So now we've got the eyeliner shape right, we're going to add a little bit of L'Oreal gel just to give it extra intensity to the line. Close your eyes. Follow, look down over there. We'll start with the inner corner, dragging out and go right deep into the lash line. So you're really almost painting the top of the lashes. So now we're going to use this bronzy dark brown. I'm going to use a mixture of these two eyeshadows. I'm going to do it, close your eyes, literally nestle them here into the socket just to give a bit of definition and it's on the outer corner and again into the same two browns dusting them off any excess onto your hand and just going to the corner socket of the eye um, okay then you take a second clean brush and just diffuse for blending to diffuse the eyeshadow so you put it on with one brush and then take a clean brush and just diffuse it so now we're going to go with the gold and the white highlighter, mix those two together and close, put a wash of that over the eyelid on both eyes. A little bit of gold, I'm going to pop that in the corner of Bay's eye, there we go, just to give it in the inner corner, just to give it a little, uh, to open up the eye. And then we're going to take another uh, Hakahodo smaller brush and we're going to put a little bit of the bronziness as a tiny shadow, very lightly, the paler bronze, on the outer, just slightly below the lash line, just to give a little bit of definition, but very, more like a shadow, to act more like a shadow as opposed to eyeshadow, or to make it too just definite. So now we're going to add a few individual lashes to the outer corner of Bay's eyes just to give them a little bit of that kind of Hollywood flutter that like Marilyn Monroe used to wear corner lashes that kind of just gives us that slightly bedroomy 
look to the eyes and a little lift. I like the bedroom. <laughs> yeah. Good, yeah. <laughs> bedroom, bedroom, exactly. <laughs> that come hither flutter. How long will they stay on for tonight? <laughs> as long as you're good. Look down, yeah, they'll stay up oh, they'll stay on all night. Look down. I mean some people I know I've put eyelashes on, they've kept them on for three days. I might fill in with some shorter hairs just to give it a little just so just to fill in a little bit. Look down. There we go, look at me. Marvellous. So now we're going to put on the Sumptuous Extreme Estee Lauder Mascara to just, you know, give you that gorgeous filled out lashes. Once we put on these individuals that give you that gorgeous elongation, that sort of Marilyn Monroe flutter. Um, we're going to put mascara lots on the top and then just a little bit on the bottom to just fill in a few of the short eyelashes. But it's really all about the top of the eyelashes. And now we're just literally individually coating each lash. What's it called, that mascara? Sumptuous Extreme by Estee Lauder. Would you recommend it? Yeah, it's yeah. great. It's great. Look down. Um, okay, so now I'm using a little bit of my face powder, a slight little bit of powder over the face, very lightly, not a lot just to give us a base to put on the bronzer so that the bronzer doesn't go patchy on the skin because we put foundation on underneath. So cream and powder don't mix, so you must put a bit of powder on top of the cream so that it doesn't go patchy on your skin. Okay, so I'm gonna use two MAC Mineralized powders which are fantastic because they, they are mineral <laughs> and, and they've got a little bit of gold in them and they're really flattering and they're really pretty colours. So I'm gonna put a little mix of the two of these with a big brush, dust it off on the back of my hand so, it doesn't, so I don't put too much on. And then you, what we're trying to do is just give Bay a little bit of a contour, so a little bit of definition. I mean, Bay already has incredible cheekbones and wonderful jawline, but to just give a little bit of a kind of bronzy, Highlight so onto the temples, starting off onto the temples, corner of the temples, just bring the forward it, the forehead in a little bit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, it's all classic Hollywood. And then and then around the side of the face and underneath the cheekbones, just bring out those lovely bones. And suck in your cheeks, and then you can just see, yeah, there we go, a little. So a little healthy glow, and then underneath the cheekbones. Yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> Marvellous. See, when you suck in the cheeks, you can see where you should naturally put the bronzing. Once we've done that, we want to now add the final touch of it's all about the red lip. And Bay has fantastic lips. It's got a gorgeous shape. They remind me a little bit of Bridget Fonda's lips, because she had the same kind of... Um, sort of bow. But anyway, we're going to slightly cheat it. So I never do red lips without... A lip liner so it's crucial because it gives you a you understand the shape of the mouth and not to go over the edge and it also holds the gloss and holds the lipstick and stops it from bleeding so I'm slightly going along the outer edge of Bay's mouth to slightly cheat the mouth because Bay's got a fantastic shape just to make it a little bit bigger so outer edge there we go red lipstick Red lip liner. This is a great colour by MAC, it suits most reds, called Cherry. And it gives you a good structure to work from, and then you can just fill it in, it's become very easy, and you can see the shape. So I'm going to use a little bit of Ruby Woo, I think. There we go, close. And actually, Always use the right coloured lip liner, always match it to your lipstick, so otherwise you'll end up with kind of trout pout situation. Mm. Okay, so now I'm going to put a little bit of Tom Ford Lost Cherry, very naughty name. Um, <laughs> 
<laughs> we love him. Um, and uh, just to finish it off, to give you that kind of Hollywood glamour. It's such a fantastic red, this. It's a little bit of lip lacquer. There we go. Gorgeous. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and then... I feel different from two hours ago. <laughs> and I'm going to put a little bit of oops, Becca highlighter just on top of the cheekbones and then down the bridge of the nose. And this is a look I've created on, it's a kind of classic Hollywood look that you, it's a kind of timeless classic that really I've done for 20 years of my career. Have you really? Yeah, it's just a timeless classic. It's like a kind of smoky eye. It's one of those ones that will never go out of, will never date, never go to classic. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's... Is that... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I've got to go. I love uh, makeup, tea. but I love it. My God, it's amazing. Cool. Maybe do what they do in Hollywood, which is literally what? stick a finger in your mouth yeah. and then put it out. Yeah, that's it. Just a little bit. Really so, yeah, that's do. what they do. Let me get... Um, here, darling. <laughs> Gosh. I love it. I mean, I love the way I look. I love it. Great. Thank you. Bay has got the red lip Hollywood quintessential classic um, smouldering starlet look. And um, it's really easy. It's all about a red lip and all about a bit of contour on the eyes. And I think you look gorgeous, darling. I feel gorgeous. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you.